What's up guys, my name is Sean, welcome to my tech channel. Today I got an exciting but fairly short video review of this uh, speaker I received from DB Source. This is their Motor Boom um, speaker. Not too long ago I reviewed another speaker from the same company that was a 40 watt speaker. This is a 50 watt and apparently there is heavy emphasis on the bass, so I'm excited to see what this thing can do. 10,000 milliamp battery, which you can use also as a power bank. It gives you about 30 hours of playtime. I assume not at full blast. It has a bass boost. I'm excited to see how that will play out and it's supposed to be very durable and IPX5. By the way, if this is the first time you're stopping by and you like tech videos like this, consider subscribing. And when you turn on the bell notification, change that to all because that's the only way you'll be notified for all my future videos. My videos are very straightforward and to the point. We're gonna take a look at the product, physical features and characteristic, and then we're gonna do some audio test and I'll give you my conclusion. Let's get to it. So the unboxing is very straightforward. All you get inside is the speaker itself. You get two cables, an auxiliary cable and a USB type C for charging and the owner's manual. Starting with the overall weight and build quality, this thing, has a bit of a weight to it. It weighs 4.6 pounds. The product has these two grips on the side, which makes it very easy and convenient to be able to carry on either of the two sides. So that I do like. At the top, you have your power button, you have your extra bass, you have your pause play button, FM radio, and volume up and down or skipping tracks. The way it works, if you do a short press, that's for volume. If you do a longer press, that is to go uh, to skip forward or backwards. In the back, you have your sealed ports, your USB Type-C for charging, and this thing has a 10,000 milliamp battery, so you can use the USB Type-A to charge your phone or whatever else you have. This is IPX5, so it is not fully, I wouldn't call it water resistant, so you gotta be careful. You don't want to submerge this at IPX5, but it's definitely splash proof, so you can have this outside comfortably if it rains or near the pool, and you should be fine. Oh, at the bottom, you have these really fat, kind of like rubberized legs, uh, which I do like. It give it a little bit of a, uh, kind of like a sturdy uh, base, so it's not gonna slide very easily. And in the front, that is where we have obviously our branding and all the ports for the speakers and the tweeters and the drivers and things like that. These are your LED indicators. Four of them is for the charge level. One is shows if it's plugged in using the auxiliary cable and the other one is for Bluetooth. Let's turn this on and see how loud this thing gets. By the way, you can connect this to up to 100 of the same speaker at once, so which is gonna be nuts. Uh, this is 50 watts and I think 70 watts peak power, and just having two of these at 100 watts is gonna be ridiculously loud. I'm gonna play some songs from Artlist. That is a subscription I use, so I don't have to worry about copyright claims. And I will play a couple of songs from my nephew, who is a beat producer, and I will put his links down in the description below. And I'll put the name of the songs on the screen as well. Connected. Bluetooth connected. Everywhere I go, the people really want to know who I is and who I be. They stop and stare when they see me. If it's the once, no need to repeat. Run up on me, watch you fall to your knees. Tip my hat when it's time for the kill. Ain't no beast when you really real.
So look, <laughs> this thing gets super loud. It is super bassy. The build quality is amazing. Honestly, I don't even know how they sell this thing for only 65 bucks. It is nuts. And <laughs> getting two of these things and pair them, it's even going to be crazier. So look, I have tested a ton of different Bluetooth speakers. And that's actually one of my most favorite things to test because of the unique uh, uh, kind of like designs and uh, how competitive the market is. The manufacturer is getting better and better at what they're producing. This thing is plastic, but is built really, really strong. So the, the, the grills are not plastic, obviously. But other than that, this thing is built like a tank, honestly. So uh, not too long ago, I reviewed one of their other speaker that... It was for 50 bucks and that was a 40 watt an extra 15 bucks more to get this much more bass i really like it as far as the downsides is there anything i don't like if i have to just be super picky i would say the highs are not as crisp as i wanted it to be this is very bass heavy speaker so it's just good for that so just kind of keep that in mind but outside of that 10,000 milliamp battery good build quality extremely bassy gets super loud you got fm radio and you can use it as a power bank this is it i would this is definitely going to get a list of speakers that i will recommend under 100 dollars. so uh hopefully you guys enjoyed this video hopefully this was informative or maybe entertaining um if uh, you get a chance check out my nephew's links down below that makes these beats show him some love um, but besides that, if this is the first time you're stopping by, don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe and turn on the notifications. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.